Hey everyone, John Lindquist here. Let's talk about Metatables and Lua. So let's say you want to ask me for money. So we'll create an instance of me, or a table of me, and we'll say, uh, hey John, you got any money? And if we run this, I'll say, nope, I don't have any money. So I'm printing out nil. Now, what are we going to do? Are we going to give me money? Probably not, because I really don't deserve it. Uh, but what if my good friend Bill has a whole bunch of money? Maybe my friend is Bill Gates. And uh, we'll say, hey, Bill, what about you? You got any money? And if we run this now, you can see that our good friend Bill here has a whole bunch of money, while I still don't have any. So what we're going to do is, if we can use a meta table here, and we'll set it up, Let's we'll spell it out meta table. And we tell the meta table that its index, uh, index meta method is pointing to Bill. This means that any table that uses this meta table is going to look to Bill for those, uh, for those keys and the values associated with those keys. So if I say set meta table John meta table. This is going to tell anyone who asks me for money, say, hey, don't look at me, look over a bill. So if we print me out now and we say, hey, let's uh, see if John has any money now, it's actually going to uh, show that I don't have any money. It's going to check out Bill, see that he has a bunch of money. And then the next time through, after the meta table has been set up, and now I reference uh, bill anytime I don't have anything or I don't have one of these keys, uh, it's going to look through the index meta method and search for whoever else this could be referencing. So uh, it's going to look to bill to get that money. Now another thing you commonly see when using uh, meta methods and meta tables is a way to write OOP, Object Oriented Programming, in Lua. So if we create uh, what you could call a namespace in Lua, and I'll do a more in-depth OOP tutorials later. But if we create a, a namespace and we give myself some a prototype, you can actually name this anything you want. You don't have to name a prototype. We can say that my default speed is five, and my default strength is you know I'm pretty strong. So how about a uh, hundred? And then we set up a meta table. And we have that meta table point two. Uh, so we'll do use that index meta method again. And we'll have this point two me dot prototype. So if I create the uh, the constructor function, we'll say John new, and this is going to be a function. And whenever you request a new John, we'll just create this uh, new object, which is going to have its meta table set to John meta table. Now, if you if you're a little bit lost now, I will go over this again in just a second. So it's going to return O. So let's create a new instance of a John. We'll say John new, and we can print out John speed, and you'll see this returns with five. Now what's going on here is that I have set up a default table, and this table has a speed and a strength. And whenever you create a new John from this, uh, you know, this factory, this constructor function, it's going to create a new table. Uh, this table is just going to be called O. It's going to set the meta table of that table to my default properties. And so anytime it looks up for something like speed or strength, um, something that's not already assigned to O, then it's going to uh, look to the original prototype table, which has speed and strength already defined. Now, if I pass in some, if I pass in my own parameters here, so say I could define my own speed and strength, so we'll say speed is four instead of five, and I allow this to be passed in instead of creating 
a new one, you'll see that now it'll return with four because I have passed in a table already instead of creating that new table. This table gets set to my meta table, which is pointing to my prototype. And it's just returning this, uh, you know, already, already created table. But since I didn't have, I didn't define strength in this table, and I run this now, I still have my default prototype value of 100. So one last time, you know, a namespace, you know, a global variable of a John, uh, some default properties such as, you know, speed and strength, whatever, and a meta table which has this index meta method, and I'll cover more meta methods in other uh, in later tutorials, which points to this. And then whenever you pass in um, a table such as, you know, a table with just the key and value of speed and four, and you just say set the meta table to this, or to this meta table, which points to this, and then return that exact same table with the new meta table set. So you could reference the speed as four, the strength would be 100, and this would basically override anything you set and leave the defaults of anything you hadn't set. So that's the, the basics of a meta table and the index meta method. I'll cover more of the meta methods later and uh, more of the OOP, uh, you know, the ways to set it up within Lua. So hope that helps.